What's up, explorers? In this week's episode, we're going to be going over Bethesda's first Starfield patch and everything you need to know to level up your game or just level up your girlfriend. I'm Ron Seven, and this is the Starfield Weekly News Recap. The first patch came out, and it wasn't all that exciting. Just some fixes, mostly for the Xbox platform, and some quest-stopping bugs that they got panned out. They did mention that they will be bringing in an FOV slider in the near future, among some other things. And it was interesting to note that because this game is on Xbox Live, they did point out that they will be servicing this game for years and years to come. Okay, I take it back, I was wrong last week. This is the best beginning outpost video I have found. It's actually pretty incredible. You can get five different source materials that will help you to continue to build the resource itself as long as you start those extractors in the proper order. Be sure to check this video out. You'll be throwing rocks at all your old settlements after seeing this. If frame farming isn't the way you want to level up your character, then be sure to check out this video by Rifle Gaming. In this video, they build two outposts and fast travel back and forth once the dead bodies pile up too high. It's a much more entertaining way to level up your character, although they do spawn in docile characters, but that's good if you want to go for a melee build. I found this video to be pretty interesting, however, you will take a little bit more investment in a character to get these jobs done. If you're hunting creatures that are less than docile, then check out Crozen's new lineup of builds. He's got a stealth build and one that just came out, the Acrobatic Soldier. These are very interesting videos showing you how to min-max your first 60 levels into the best build of your choosing. And when you're done ground pounding, be sure to check out Total X Clips video on how to pick the right ship and board them properly so that you can increase the size of your fleet and steal all those goodies. The thumbnail alone probably already caught your attention. MXR comes with a list of mods that he likes to tout. No, there are no booby mods in Starfield, at least they delete them as soon as they pop up. But you can overhaul Andresia's makeup or clean up Lynn's dirty face. There are a few other things that you can do to improve the look of your girlfriends or companions but there are some good info in here on stealth overhaul plus a few other mods that are serious gamers may want to check out and for even more serious mods check out Mr. Matty Plays he's got things like the stealth overhaul the star UI which we talked about last week achievement enabler so that you can use these mods and still get those achievements We've got jetpack overhaul, craftable ammo and utilities, and even a dark mode for terminals that's found in both of these videos, in case you don't want to blow your eyeballs out when watching the game in the dark. And finally, going back to game ranks for a list of things that are totally useless, stupid, and really kind of fun and entertaining, be sure to check out this video for all the crazy things that you can only do in Starfield. With so many things to do in Starfield, don't waste your time scouring through social media to find all those tips and tricks videos. Instead, subscribe to me, Run7, and I'll bring you all the latest and greatest from this week right here on the recap. I think you better check her ID before you go down that romance quest line. You won't find any better looking clickbait than this.